What is going on guys? It's your boy Thick Beverage is back here. It's been a while since we played Mon Bazoo here. I've been playing a little bit of this in my off time, so I at least uh so I at least uh, know what's good, at least at least a little bit of a, of a uh, better idea of what's going on. Uh, as you guys probably saw in the first couple episodes, yeah, we were uh, clowning around quite a bit, trying to learn, just just trying to learn how the game works and everything, you know, trying to get everything down. But you know, I've been playing a little bit of this in my off time, so I have a better idea of what's going on. The gameplay will go a little bit better. Well, at least have a little bit better idea of what I'm doing. So, yeah, looks like we're good on maple syrup. We're gonna need some poutine soon. Uh, gonna go ahead and take a nap right here. Well, so we only got seven dollars to our name. We're straight up fucking broke We're gonna go ahead and skip the night there Ready we'll go ahead and give mother a call Hello mother answer the phone Yay, mother will clean my room. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm gonna kill the generator. What is it? We got a little bit of wood split. Throw that over there. Let's see how our fuel level. Yeah, our log splitter is almost out of gas. Speaking of out of gas, I remember our truck's out of gas. I have been playing a little bit of this in my off time, so I did realize I was driving around with the goddamn parking brake on the whole time in the fucking truck. Which is, uh, yeah, okay, so she's completely out of gas, good stuff. Yeah, so that's what the truck was going to us. Well, I was just driving around with the fucking parking brake on like a goddamn clown. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that first uh, episode or two of me clowning around, driving, like, as slow as fucking possible, trying to drive through the parking brake on that thing. Uh, what is it, if I remember the E36, is, yeah, okay, the E36 is half a tank of gas. So that's good stuff. Uh... So we're Thursday. Good stuff. We got a couple potato plants here. We still got shit to cut now. Where's my chainsaw? Chainsaw, chainsaw. Chainsaw. Uh, chainsaw. I leave it in a damn truck. What the fuck is my chainsaw? <laughs> Right, so cut those trees, get some wood. Hurl that chainsaw over there. Gas can. Okay, so since we have like literally we fuck all of our money to our name. Uh, sir, okay, uh, let's get the park break off. Alright, good stuff. Instead, we're gonna go this way to town. I'm not gonna risk driving off the goddamn cliff again. Fuck that. I'm using a PS4 controller to drive around, if anyone's curious. Oh, Alright, get all the French slurs. Alright, so we're gonna hit up the gas station and spend the rest of our $7 so we can put a little bit of fuel in the truck 
just to be able to drive a half load of wood over to Francis. Over to your good boy, your good brother Francis there, so he can give us some money and then we can go hopefully grab a poutine before we die of starvation. Poutine place opens at noon. Talk to talk to old Gillies here. Old Gillies here is a good boy to have friendship in. He's a uh, he can go ahead and find your lost items if you uh, if you get good enough friendship with him. So if you have a bunch of shit tumble into the back of your truck or something, you go to him, ask him to find it that spawns in his driveway there. Snack bar opens at 12:30. Gonna, gonna literally bankrupt ourselves with gasoline here. Be fucking half the jerry can, I think. Gonna do some pro gas can maneuvers and uh, stand this up. Off. Grab some super. Broke ass. Damn right. Go ahead and pop that in there. Go ahead and talk to these two dinks. What's up, bud? Damn, we're gonna talk to you about the racetrack, bud. Racetrack. You got it. Slap her in reverse. God damn, the understeer on this thing is so bad. Ah, uh, there we go. Just gotta rip that e-brake. Yeah, in my opinion, the vehicle physics in this game actually aren't too bad. Like, yeah, you know. It's, uh, for a game made in Unity, these vehicle physics are, like, <laughs> pretty decent. Like the, the tire physics, like understeering into a turn when you're going too fast and put too much wheel input, or like. You know, it's, the physics are there. Especially the grip difference when you go to. from the, from the paved road to the, uh, to the gravel here. Well, dirt, but dirt, gravel, whatever. Whip a big bar out, shitty, into the parking spot. Uh, shut the E36 down. It's shut 44% of a. Yeah, it's not even 10 liters of gas, and it is. And it is a rusty heap here. This fucking hoopty. Back up. Alright. There we go. Yeah, now she rips. Oh, he's gonna make sure to take the fucking parking brake off. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and back this up.
move on. Hopefully we should be able to, yeah, we should be able to get a, get a load of wood out to Francis there. And grab a bit of cash over to Putin place albums. over here. So professional split wood, we sit back 10 feet from the splitter and just throw the fucking log right onto it and it splits it. <laughs> I love Unity physics, I don't know about you guys, they're just excellent. This is a professional split wood, boys. So if you throw it, yeah, you throw it into where it the blades all the way back and it doesn't doesn't just pick it up. But. Oh yeah. Oh, that one just went right over. I just didn't even make it. Professional log stack here. Turn it around. Up. Okay. Load her up. This fucking thing. It's working out kind of well, but at the same time, not so well. There we go. That was a little more efficient. Although it doesn't end up in the greatest wood stack, that's for sure. Like all of those fucking mess they just noticed. We got a pile on the ground here now. What's going on here? 
Readjusting our wood stack once again. Okay, you chug a maple syrup for head out to Francis. Shit. Good thick boys. I really couldn't imagine just drinking straight maple syrup. It, it seems like you would just straight up die. I mean, I'm Canadian. I love maple syrup. Like, but, I mean, I wouldn't just straight up drink it out of the fucking t Like, out of the, out of the fucking bottle. Like, at a certain point, it's just, like, kind of feels like death. Like, it's like, oh yeah, this is good. And then, like, a minute later, it's like, okay, I can't breathe. I need actual liquid. <laughs> Old boy Francis here, and he's gonna give us some money with a load of wood. Yeah, yeah, there he is, sitting on the porch there. Slabbering with hers and back down the driveway. Alright, that was almost that was almost a full load of wood too, it's not bad. So like so I think there's only like a row or two left there. I would see yeah, three three four or so. I don't want to give it a second another hundred bucks, depending on the wood we gave him. Yeah, I know I hate cutting firewood, but that's uh, it's, it's why I do it for you. Okay. Oh, 334, not bad. Got extra money. Speaking of which, the protein place is going to be open. Every time you get in town, I'll let you rip the town. truck fucking rips now that we know how the goddamn parking brake works. It's all it takes. Just gotta pull your parking brake out of there, bud. Is your truck going slow? Did you did you pull the parking brake up there, bud? He's a ripper now. Savage, even though we want to put fucking seven bucks for the gas in it. Uh, you know, buy up all your protein here. Oh, pardon me, that's a tasty beverage that I was just enjoying. Yeah, in a hot bag truck. Rip right over the gas station. Uh, actually, we put some gas in the tank. Put some gas in the tank, built a jerry can. And yes, I, I fill up all my vehicles from, uh, like, yeah, I fill up all my vehicles from the rear tire. <laughs> Alright, we don't need to completely fill it, but there we go, 40 bucks should be enough. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the gas can. Whoa, 
I'll like pour a bunch of gas on the ground, but Unity physics, I love them. Uh, there we go. That was actually almost full of tea, so it's not bad. Alright, I already talked those two ganks. Now I can't get back in my truck. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to uh, Clown Boy over here, who runs the, uh, uh, the store for all the, all the supplies and stuff. Uh, the, the, the Federation. Everything is in French here. My uh, French isn't really uh, isn't really up to par there. Not one of those uh, French Canadians living in Quebec, in the Ontario there. So, sup, bud? Give me some friendship here. I like that. Alrighty. So we'll go about it now. We got actually, yeah, we almost got a full tank of gas in the uh, truck there. We got a full gas can. We got three poutines. Poutine meter's good. So we're gonna go ahead and take a rip back home. Man, the physics feel a lot better on any vehicle as a manual transmission in this game, in my opinion. Like, so you can see the proper throttle input there. Holy shit! I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Oh, boys. Oh, that was close. Holy. I was gonna be paying attention to the gas pedal, and all of a sudden. We're Ricky Bobby. Is all I'm flying through the air. Not good. Oh yeah, that like that was that was a legit double barrel roll though. Like like fucking that 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 lady car in Cars Three will be proud of the, the 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 one that pulled the Doc Hudson at the end of the movie there. That was that was pretty good. But I mean Doc Hudson himself will be proud there. <laughs> oh fuck, boys. <laughs> That could have been way worse, because in my experience in this game, once you fucking, if it, if it doesn't land on the tires, it's just gonna keep tumbling. <laughs> so that could have ended very badly for us. Oh man. Oh, oh part of my butt hole real good. Alrighty. Made it kind, kind of safely back here. I wouldn't say 100% safe, but we made it. Oh yeah, it's it's good to be at uh, everything in the cab too. Otherwise, it'd be it'd, it'd just be gone. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Yeah, hot to those there. Nobody needs to put the goddamn poutine in the freezer. Who's got time for that? Still got a bit of time left today. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back it off here and take. Oh. She wanted almost sold for it. Says all of the wood I can sell him for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect these up and get them ready to be split. Huck the gas can over here. The long splitter needs gas badly. Definitely needs gas. I did that with a split and session. We just did. Oh, yeah. She's almost fucking bone dry. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. She was. She only had fucking. She only had 8% gas left. She takes 30% of a gas can. So. I can fuck all these birch logs over here. All these birch bogs.
my off time. I remember the maple syrup farm starts over there. Oh yeah, buggy carts. That's a professional who's built their buggy. They just uh, take a box of parts and morph it into their um, okay, so to do this. Zoom in there, yeah. That's the buggy. The garden. Uh, yes, the sugar shack. Sugar shack starts over there. Okay, uh, build the sugar shack. Just have left the fucking door open on my rusted ass E36 here. Okay. So, if I recall, you need pine logs to uh, build the sugar shack. Shut the chains on in there. Just gonna back over all that wood with the chain beam. It's five or whatever. Ah, yes, this is a sugar shack. Okay. Waste pine logs here to build. Zero to sixty-four. Okay, so I'm gonna get some work to do. Should we cut down all these pine trees? Yep. So it looks like about, uh, yeah, two, four, six, uh, yeah, okay, so, we'll see about six logs per pine tree. Oh, was that fucking, I need 64, I uh, need five by six, that's 30, so, uh, mm, 10 by six, uh, uh, we're gonna need around 11, yeah. 10 and a half pine trees. 10 and, well, 10 and two thirds pine trees, that's, yeah. There's three. Spider. We have puppies in here too. Yeah, okay, cool.
Don't worry, I'm not gonna fucking pick up and walk each of these pieces. I'm gonna get in the truck for some of them. These are just close by. Okay, and we can't hawk it. Oh, no. okay, so, gotta hawk it right in the green circle. So just hawk it over the pile. Drug loaded up some pine logs. More times you actually have to use the parking brake. My good old, my good old arch nemesis, the parking brake from episode one and two. Fucking drive with those before they all morph themselves out of there. Those don't look secure at all. Can I just drive these in? Oh, sick. Fuck yeah, bud. Alright, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a door box. Oh shit, what the fuck was that frame drop? You okay PC, you gonna catch fire? It's only Unity engine, calm down. <laughs> I'm hoping my PC doesn't decide to randomly crash. I don't know what it is with recording stuff off uh, off of Radeon software, but sometimes, depending on what game you're recording, it looks to crash if the game's uh, kind of desync -y, like like Tab G or Escape from Tarkov, for example. That's why I don't record a lot of Escape from Tarkov anymore, because just trying to record straight off the graphics card, it keeps fucking crashing because the game is so desync -y. It's like, I'll open, the f I'll open the loot menu and it'll just crash, and it's like, fuck, man. Like, and it's like I... You know, I've tried, I've tried using Streamlabs, but it just tanks your fucking frames, so... I don't know, I'll try, I'll try just straight up recording with OBS Studio and see how that works, see if that tanks the frames at all, but... I'm gonna run it with the greatest of GPUs here, and that's kind of my only downfall right now. Yeah, yeah, okay, not bad. Come on, what's going on? There we go. Ah, oh, shit, I'm driving right down the hill. Come on. <sighs> Slap her into four high, let's go. <laughs> I can't fuck with the gear shifter when I'm not in the seat. Yeah, we need to get a bit of a move on. It's getting dark out here. Energy's starting to get up there. Okay. Uh, of course, I put the damn parking brake on. Pro stack right there, not really, but 
for pine logs, it's not bad. See, these lockers are massive. Even though it all ends up in the same size. Two puny ass chunks of firewood. Oh yeah, I'll take it. I was like fucking barely on there, but. I had a professional stack pine log boys. <laughs> what are we over the fucking roof? <laughs> We're gonna try and fit this last this last little chunk in here. I do not have high hopes for the one at the back here. Up high hopes for any of these after I take the parking brake off and start moving. Oh shit, okay, somehow I kept it. Not bad, not bad. Hell yeah. No way I didn't lose the one on the back. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't even lose the one on the back either. Straight savage. Physics working against us. Oh, yeah, it's getting really dark out here. Headlights. So we need another 15, or yeah, another, uh, another 15. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish that tomorrow so I can uh, wake up early on a Friday there. And straight up ripping through this bumpy forest. Zero fucks given. Time for party breaks. Go up here, chug some maple syrup before we get to bed. Yeah, yeah. Go to sleep. Okay, what the? Ah, shit. <laughs> That's not the first thing I want to see when I wake up. Come back here. <laughs> My fucking truck is just running away when we wake up. It's like, you awake, motherfucker? Good. Come and get me. <laughs> it's, it's what we get for not putting the goddamn parking brake on. 
that, that'll catch you in a bed in the morning. <laughs> Go find my trucks are rolling backwards on the hill by itself. <laughs> that one on the side. Just gonna pot it, take it slow. Yeah. Barely any gas. here. That's almost going to be done, isn't it? There's barely any left. Ah, oh, okay. Only one more log. But yeah, well, I mean, I'm fucking getting back in the truck for one more log. I need to keep that parking brake on just in case. Fucking pit us in the ass last night. Give me a log. Log. Oh, yeah, logs. Oh. Move back. Move farther. Move back farther. Move back, damn it. Come back here. All right, sir. Hey, Sugar Jack. Yeah. Damn. Spicy. Power to make maple syrup. Super Canadian. Alrighty. Now that that adventure is complete, I'm gonna be a savage and take the rest of these pine logs that I cut up over to the splitter so we can sell them to Francis. Yeah, we gotta go ahead and give Mother a call. Got to do that because we're 
rudely interrupted after being woken up by uh, our truck rolling down the hill. So. Teetering on the side, I can see it. We're about to lose it. It don't. Oh, it's. A, I think the downhill is the only thing keeping it on. Oh, once you go over this bump, I think. How is it still there? How are you still on? You're just bouncing. Ah, and there it goes, right as we stop. So you knew. So you know, we're, we're good. I don't need to be on here anymore. All right. Shut this old boy down here. Start up splitter. Two are we there? Got stuff. Got another load of wood for Francis, ready to go. Fuck, I left my chains all over at the shirt shack. Professional wood pile. Yeah. Going in the horrible part of that fire, we went around that 
that bends. Right, so that's a decent mode of fire that we got too. Hopefully that'll uh, hopefully that'll completely fill up Francis there. He'll be able to give us some uh, some nice dollars. Oh, property loss going off the side there. Stash for me there, bud. Nice. 307. Okay, so. Does depend on what type of wood you sell, too. Some, some types of wood sell for a little more, I think. At least some, I think they do. Uh, yeah. So. Got ourselves a nice $600 here now. Go ahead and call the mother. I like the way the cars handle on the dirt better than the, than the road physics in this game, in my opinion. It is. Yeah, it feels a little more controllable. Uh, okay, so call on the mother. Don't have time to talk, but I rub you. Okay. What are you saying, mutter? Serve up some maple syrup, crunch up some poutine. I'm gonna go say hi to all the town clowns after we take the goddamn parking brake off. Son of a bitch, my controller turned off. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm using the uh, PS4 controller on Bluetooth here on my PC, so sometimes, it, sometimes it's a little bit wonky. Just decides to pause. <laughs> so I go, oh, okay. Sure, I pay attention to the road this time. No, my gas pedals. Don't want to almost double barrel roll into the fucking ocean here again. So, like, what, did they, what did they even hit? They just fucking. They just like sideswipe the fucking guardrail or something. Currency have? It's a double clicking mouse. Holy shit. This guy's loaded. Turbo manifold, intercooler. Nitrous? Okay. Spray beam, power removal. Bolt. I, mean, I probably shouldn't be buying shit, but I mean I'd be buying more useful shit, but these bolts look fucking awesome. The blue one to be swift too. Buying up all your bolts. Yeah, look at this shit. Your sway bar, carbon fiber trunk. Okay, so these are all okay, yeah, alright, so these are all E36 parts. Nice, nice. Performance manual, ICBs, yo, okay. LSD, let's go. We can drift this shit. Hoods. Roger. What's new? All your shit, that's what's new. It's awesome. It's really expensive too. Yeah. 
Alright, we're gonna leave you over for now because anything I can buy from you is just gonna bankrupt me besides bolts, so. Walking down the street. And he morphed into his house. Say hi to these clowns. I see your vehicles. You know, we have towing services, eh? Huh? What are you saying? My vehicles are shit? Because if you are, you're absolutely right. What do we got here? Harvest basket, torch, paint, move some dents, move some, oh, remove some rust, okay. What do we got here too? Okay. Brakes. Comfy seat. Nice. Okay, nice. They look exactly like fucking M3 Vader sports seats. That's fucking sick. Okay, we got mufflers here. Not bad, not bad. Nice. That's like the exact muffler I have on my IRL E36. I mean. The fucking, the turn up is way more aggressive on this one, but it's like the same fucking turned up burnt tip style. It's not. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to uh, this guy down at the Federation here. If I recall, the to do list was, what is it, tubing rolls and other stuff? Pretty sure this guy sells it. Check out our electric heater. It's gonna be a while before I check that out, but fucking 18 grand. Tuning roast, okay. Tuning roll. Yeah! Got the tuning roll. Yes, sir. I'm gonna buy another one, kind of savage. Sap sprouts. I need to sprout the sap out of those trees. So the professionals pile stuff on their vehicles. Buy another pack of those. A tubing host. A host for tubing. Get some tubes going here. Guess we'll buy one of those. Two of those. Start with two. Don't wanna don't wanna blow all our hard-earned firewood money. These barrel syrup for the syrup. Okay, so we need barrels for the syrup. 200 bucks. Alright, well, since we need barrels for the syrup, it's worth it. Alright, so, got some flies, got a barrel. $129. At least not complete broke ass. Shit, that barrel went flying. Apparently, we gotta watch the G forces. Or just put the barrel in their side with the circle. Until we get enough G force to stand it up on end. <laughs> we literally like, came up a little bit off bed, just backing up, so I don't have high hopes. 
Might not hit anything too bumpy. No more double barrel rolls. Oh fuck, there goes the barrel again. <laughs> All I did was drop one. Oh, oh, oh. Hit that parking brake. All I did was drop a tire off the fucking road. There she went. There we go. Oh yeah, she fucking. Like You're really gonna watch the turns of these barrels. Whoa, well, he's fucking one barrel in here. Oh god. There we go. Got it back in the middle. Stay back there, Barrel. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Made it home without losing the barrel for a third time. You able to rip third gear all the way down there. Uh, okay, this is all for the fucking sugar shack. Here, and we will be able to pick up our chainsaw from there. Okay. Tubes, tubes, sprouts, sprouts. Oh yeah, I forgot we bought bolts. Barrel. Some posts. Yeah, so the pros place the barrels. Okay, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Don't have enough syrup in your tank to transfer it. Okay, so this, at least I'm just assuming if this, that goes, that's that, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so that goes, um, temperature gauge, so, So, I'm guessing this is our uh, tank of uh, syrup supplies here, and then vacuum pump, one generator not running, zero maple tree connected. Okay, so we need to connect stuff to this, connect maple trees to this. So we need to we need to uh, set up our set up our maple syrup farm here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop off my bolts. Right. Almost forgot my chainsaw. Fucking awesome. You just throw it at <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh let's just put our bolts here for now. Wow, 
watering him. We gotta water our plants. Two whole potato plants. May as well just leave that right there. Alright. Um. There's one thing I can do with the gas can. Put the rest of that into this generator. Oh, okay, yeah. I see our fuel gauge going up. Not bad. Full. Nice, we're full. Yeah, two percent of my gas can left. Whole two percent. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Mom Bazoo Boys. But I'll definitely see you in the next episode. Now that we have a better handle on the game, can actually can actually get work done in this game. So. But yeah, I'll definitely see you guys in the next episode. I really hope you enjoyed, and uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. I'll be sure to upload more. And uh, yeah, take her easy.